For this video, we're going to be going over Hoodoo's new list feature. This allows admin to create a standardized list, which can then be applied to asset fields and our network features like IPAM. We'll start by showing how admin can configure this setting and then the examples with those asset field types and network management. To start using lists, we'll go to the admin tab and then below the basic setup section, we can find our list here. We have two options when creating lists. When we select new here, we can either build one from scratch or start from one of our templates. These templates will get us started, but just like our asset layouts, they are fully customizable. And I'll show you what that looks like. Going back to our main list section, if I go into our network roles and click into that, we have our existing types coming from our template. But I can always select the new item here at the bottom, and we can add additional role types. When creating a brand new list, we'll just select the new list here, and then we can build one out as we need. Now, in this case, let's say we're doing days of the week, which we can start by doing here. We have the option of adding line by line, or we can bulk add. So if I wanted to add multiple days at once with Monday and then Tuesday, I just hit enter to add an additional line, bulk add those items, and now we have both here. If I want to add an additional day, I have that new item, so I can add Wednesday, which we can reorganize at any point, so we can maintain whatever order we're looking for. So now I have that placed below Tuesday, and we can hit save to apply those changes. Finally, let's show where to then use those lists. Under the list section, we can see our networks and racks feature, and here is where we can use them in one example. Under the statuses and roles, we have that dropdown pulling from that list section, and we can see in this example the days of the week we just created. The other section is going to be asset layouts. Assets have tons of different field types that we can use, and with the standardized field list, which I'll show you here in applications, we can choose the list select. This is one of our default templates that I'm editing here, and we have in the edit field section our list select already chosen. When we have that field type chosen, we go into our list to pick from, and there we can update it based on our list that we've curated. If you have any more questions around this feature or other items about Hoodoo, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We're always happy to chat.